morning everyone <clears throat> you want this straight ahead so all right somebody asked me about linear combination of functions right like it a okay Assume V is a set of all real functions and W consists of all functions that satisfy the condition. So V is <coughs> F in F, F of 10 is 0. You have to show that W is a vector space. Okay, first. The question, there's a typo, should be all W, not V. It should be all W and not V. Okay, so these are all W, not V. Right. V is all real functions. You have to show whether it's a vector space. So just show this is a subspace of this, then it will be a vector space. The first one is zero subspace. So show zero of V is in W. Okay. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that f is a function. Every time you put in 10, you get 0. There's so many of those f. For example, fx is x minus 10. This f is in w. Because when you put in 10, 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is just one example. There are many other examples like gx, 2x minus 5. This is also in W. Since g of 10, oops, sorry. It should be 20, right? Okay. 20 minus 20 is 0. So these are just two examples of the function in W. So this is not part of the proof, I'm just showing you two examples. Now how do you show this? What does it mean by the zero function? Zero function of anything is always zero no matter what. This is called the zero function. Whatever you put in, it is equal to zero. So the zero function is in W since 0 v of 10 so this is the definition of the zero function whatever you put in for any x whatever you put in is always equal to zero this is the zero function 
So you put in zero, uh, 10 is also equal to zero. So this is in W. So that's show number one. So you will see, it's very easy. If this is not zero, definitely it's not a subspace. Okay. Like, for example, part C. You put in the zero function, it's equal to one. It's not equal to one, it's equal to zero. So C definitely not a subspace. So you just cannot stop here because you have to show the second one. The second one, if F, G in W, you have to show F plus G is also in W. Okay, so you can just take photo if you don't have time to copy. So you have to show if F and G in W, the sum is also in W. F in W means F of 10 is 0. Okay, you change the F. Call it F1, F2, or F, G, H, and so on. G in W imply G of 10 is 0. Now you have to show is the sum also in W. So what does it mean by F plus G is in W? That means F plus G 10 has to be 0. So this is what you have to show. What is f plus g of 10? f plus g of 10 is equal to, you learn this in calculus, f of g of 10 is f 10 plus g 10, and from this, because this is what you have, so this is what you have, 0 plus 0 equal 0. So f plus g is in w. Alright, so you have shown this, and the third one is C in R, F in W imply C F in W. Okay, so Again, because f is in w, that means f of 10 is 0, and you want to show cf in w, meaning cf of 10, what is cf of 10 is c times 10 is 0. So, cf is in w, meaning Whatever you want to show in W, you have to apply this condition. F of 10 is in 0. So this is, somebody asked me about question number 8. Okay. Today we'll continue to spanning. Spanning also... is related closely to chapter 2. Okay. Definition 3.4, page 161. Okay, now, there is a question, yeah? It should be proved for vector space, not only for a subspace. From the definition of a subspace, okay, page 142, if 
if W is a subset of a vector space, W is called a subspace if itself it is a vector space and it is in V. So instead, that is why we have a test for subspace. We don't have to show the 10 axioms if it is part of a vector space. You can just use the test for subspace. That's this uh, sentence on page 142 after section 3.3. This means we just have to show that a set is a subspace and thus a vector space with three axioms only. So meaning you don't have to show all 10 if it is a subset of the big vector space. We have four vector space. One is our n, one is m, m by n. Third one is polynomial. Fourth one is function. So if you are given a set, a subset of those four vector space, you just need to show that it is a subspace. So that will save the time. Okay, just start if you have question, yeah, like Brian. Okay, definition 3.4, span S. Okay, let V1, V2, Vn be vectors in vector space V. The set of all linear combination of V1, V2, Vn is a subspace of V which is called the space span by call it S N is written as span S. Oh, somebody mentioned that my voice is not loud enough here. Yeah? Let V1 to Vn be vectors in V. V will be given, S will be given. The set of all linear combinations of all these vectors is a subspace of V, which is called the space span by S. The space span by S. So we write S, span of S, is the span of this, which is equal to, since it's linear combination, you remember linear combination? C1, V1, plus C2, V2, plus, plus Cn, Vn. Ci is in R. Can you imagine V, all those vector spaces, the... Um, Rn matrix polynomial and functions. These are all vector spaces that we have and they are all infinite. 
n can be 1, n can be 2, but each of those set is infinite. Matrices, polynomials, functions is infinite. S, S is finite. Only n vectors in S. The span of S is all the linear combination. You can imagine, although V1 until Vn is finite, but the CI is in R, real numbers, which is infinite. So span of S is also infinite. Okay, let me give one example. Right. The first example given in the book show that S one zero zero one spans out. Okay. In other words, we can write span S equal R2. This is two way of writing S spans R2 or span of S is equal to R2. Span of S is also a subspace. So this is what you have. Suppose you have V equal R2. Your S is a subset which is a subspace consisting of 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, remember that span of S is a linear combination. Span of S is a linear combination of vectors in S. So when you write V1 and V2, you get this, which is equal to C1, C2, right? This is a real number, comma, another real number. You can rewrite as usual. This is what you, we always write. And this is exactly R2, right? So... This is for this one. If you want to draw, okay, this is x, this is y. One zero is here. Zero one is here. Okay, question, if W is a subspace of V, then W will be a vector space like V, yes. So instead of showing the 10 axioms, we can just show the 3 axioms. Except, the question asks, show that W is a vector space by showing all the 10 axioms. In that case, we have to show all 10. Otherwise, if it is a subset already of a bigger vector space, you just show the three axioms. Then it will automatically be a vector space. Okay, Meaning you don't need to show the ten axioms if it is already a subset of a bigger, bigger vector space. Alright. Okay. Back to here, this is your 1, 0 and 0, 1. Linear combination means the sum of a multiple of this plus multiple of this. So actually, we learned before in calculus, right? Any vectors x, y can be written as a linear combination. This will be like a multiple of this, right? Plus a multiple of this. 
or you can go this way. A multiple of that plus a multiple of that. So that means it is a linear combination. So these two vectors span R2. Right? Okay. I will show you another one. Number two is very, very similar. Okay. Number two, before I show the one that does not span, look at number two. Spans are three. Okay. There are three components that is why this is R3 not because there are three of them okay there are three components in each one so even if you are not given V you will know what V is okay now I'm not gonna show the answer because it's very similar that span of S is C1100 plus C2010 plus C3001 and then C1, C2, C3. So this is just R3. Alright? So that is number two. Sometimes you don't have many vectors this is another question find span of one zero it's just one vector okay now what is your v so there is only one vector but each one has two components so you know v is r2 because two components okay now what how do you find the span so you write out the definition span of s how many c the c depends on how many vectors in the set so we have only one vector so just put one c okay the c is always a real number so when you write this out you will get c0 so span of this is just c0 2 0 3 0 negative 3 0 if you want to draw 1 0 1 0 is here and c0 is all this right c positive and negative so the span of s is just the x axis it's not the whole xy, right? So another question that I can ask, does S span R2? Okay, that's another question. Does S span R2? What's the answer? The answer is, span of S is just a line which is not the whole R2. So the answer is no. Okay. And why? Because span S is just R2. Okay. And I will write out another... type of question that okay okay s does not spend r2 if 
there exists a V in R2 which cannot be written as a linear combination of the vector or if there are many vectors in this. Okay, you see this? It only span this one. Okay, if you can find at least one vector in R2, which is not a linear combination of this, that means it does not span. Meaning, let's take one, like one one. Okay, can you write one one as the linear combination? So, can you find a C? So, C times 1, 0 is 1, 1. Okay? You cannot equal this. 0 is not equal to 1. So, this is another reason why S does not span R2. Okay? Because something is outside the spanning, spanning set. This is another way to show that S does not span R2. Alright? I think there's another example. Okay, look at uh, number 4. Number 4 is similar to the one before for R2 and R3. Okay, you see matrices. Okay, now. What is span of the zero vector? What is span of the zero vector? Okay, so I didn't say what V is. This is any zero vector. So you write span of this is linear combination, right? There's only one vector, so C times 0 V, C in R. Which is just C times the 0 vector is just the 0 vector. So, if the 0 vector is like 0, 0, you multiply by C, you get 0, 0. If the 0 vector is the matrix, you multiply by C, this is just a matrix. So the span of the zero vector is just the zero vector. All right. Okay, move on to number six. V is R. Okay, just real numbers. V is R. What is the span of a number 1? Okay, so you will just write C times 1. Which is just C. And C in R, so this is just all real numbers. Span of 2, because 2 is in R, right? C times 2 is all 2C. So this is the even number. Sorry. We rewrite that. 2C, C in R. Okay. C is in R, not in Z. So C can be any real number. You can rewrite as X. Right? If
if C is a half, you get just one. So, also spending. Three, four, so span of any real number is the whole real number. Span of any integer is the whole real number. Okay. Okay. Number seven, span of one, one is... X, X, right? If you draw one, one is here. So multiply by C, then it's the whole line. So this is again not R2. So it does not spend the whole R2, it's just a line. Okay. Theorem 3.1, you can go through. That is how you show it is a subspace. Okay, zero vector, the sum and the closeness in multiplication. Okay. Let's go to example 3.12. In this section, there are so many different questions that you can be asked for spanning. But they all using the same basic linear combination. Okay. Let's go through example 3.5. Now, S is equal to 4, 2, negative 3, 2, 1, negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, 0. So, you will see that you have 3 of this and each one has 3 components. So, you know that V is R3. Okay. Show that one 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 is not in span S, which means span S is not equal to R three. Now, I draw earlier, this is your V, right? V is R3. Okay, this is your S. Okay, now you have three, V1, V2, V3, call it V1, V2, V3. So you have V1, V2, V3. Now, span of S is the linear combination of these three vectors. Okay, that is span of S. In our previous case, Okay, in our previous case, we have this. S is 1, 1. Right? In R2. How do we draw this? So, V is R2. S here has only 1, 1.
to check connection, yeah? Are you still with me? Type, type, type. Guys, are you still there? Okay. Okay, sorry. There's something wrong with my laptop internet. Okay. Okay. So you see the span as that we see before. C C right? Okay, C in R. And we know this is just a line. So actually, span of S is just CC, okay? It's not the whole R2. It's not, this is not equal to, okay? So this is the case in which the set S is finite, the span is infinite, there's a 1-1, one, one, there's a 2-2, two, two, there's a 3-3, three, three, there's a 4-4, four, four. okay? And this one is the whole thing. If we draw this, just now we draw, okay, x, y. This is the whole R2. This 1-1 one, one is S, right? That's 1. The span is the whole line. Okay, so 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 2. This is still infinite, but it's not the whole x, y. And the vector space is the whole. So, in this case, we say that S, S does not span R2. S does not span R2. Or you write, span S is not R2. Span S is not R2. Right? The one before, I call it S prime. 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay? This is the one that span s prime equal r2 right so in this case when you want to draw s there is isn't two of this and the span is the whole one you don't have the one in the middle right for this case okay let me draw another one for that case for this case Okay, this is R2, this is our V, our S, 1, 0, and 0, 1. And span S is the whole, is the whole V. Okay, there is nothing in the middle. So in this case, we say span S equal V. Or S spans V. 
So you have to understand what this means. Okay, span s is the whole v, or we say this s spans the whole vector space. This one we say s does not span r two, because say there is something in here two three. Two three is not in the span. 2, 3 in V, but it is not in the span. There is something out here. Right? So, this means it does not span. Okay. Go back to the question. I'm looking why macam macam silau sikit. Okay. Go back to the question. As you see three vectors in R3. We want to show that 1, 1, 1 is not in the span. Meaning 1, 1, 1 is here. Oh, sorry. S here, meaning there's a span S here, there's a 1, 1, 1 here, okay? We want to show that there is 1, 1, 1 not in the span, okay? Now, what is the span? Span of S is a linear combination of these three, C1, O2, negative 3, plus C2, 2, 1, negative 2, plus C3. Okay? C1, C2, C3 is in R. Now, to show that 1, 1, 1 is not in the span, 1, 1, 1 is not in here, meaning to show 1, 1, 1 is not a linear combination of the vectors in S. Meaning, there does not exist C1, C2, C3 in R such that, what is it? 1, 1, 1 equal C1, 4, 2, negative 3, plus C2, 2, 1, negative 2, plus C3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. Try to solve this. Okay, so back to the chapter 2, right? Back to chapter 2, you want to find C1, C2, C3. So if you remember, we do this. 4, 2, negative 3. 2, 1, negative 2. Negative 2, negative 1, 0. And you put one, one, one. <coughs> okay, so <coughs> remember that we want to find C one, C two, C three. Okay? To show 1, 1, 1 is not a linear combination of the vectors in S is to show C1, C2, C3 
does not exist. So go back to chapter 2. We will solve this. So we want to get 1 here. So you can just add row 3 to row 1. Then we will get row 1 is change 1, 0, negative 2. 1, 0, negative 2, 2. Okay, then we will change this. Copy. Then this is already 1. This and this make it 0. Negative 2, row 1 plus row 2. 3, row 1 plus row 3. Okay. You get 1, 0, negative 2, 2, negative 2 and add, negative 2 and add. Negative 2, 4 and add. Negative 2, negative 4. 3. 3. 3. 3. And then, this make this 0. 2, row 2 plus row 3. 1, 0, negative 2, 2, 0, 1, 3, negative 3, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay? What does this mean? The system is in consistent. So CI does not exist. Okay. So go back to the question. 111 one, 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 one is not in the span. Okay. If there is one vector in R3 which is not in the span, meaning S does not span R3. Okay, that's another way to say all span S is not R3. Okay. 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 Go to example three point thirteen. Okay, three point thirteen. Okay, this is a set in R2, eh? Okay. A, show the span S equal x, y, y is to x. Okay, B, give two vectors in span S. Okay, C. Give a vector 
not in Spanish. So span as is not a to be. Okay, I give you five minutes to find two vectors and one vector not in span different from the nodes. Five minutes. Find two vectors in span S and a vector not in span S different from the nodes. Okay. Okay, for part A, span S equal linear combination, right? C one two C in R. Okay. So this is equal to C to C C in R. Okay, we have to show it is equal to this. So you can write C is X. Okay, and two C is Y. X Y. So this is two X. Y is two. So this is for part A. Kau dengan pak tak? Alright. Straightforward ya. Um, Brian already give two vectors. Okay, Brian already give two vectors in the span, or not in the span. Two five three seven. This one is not in the span, yeah. Two four five ten. Okay. Two four five ten is in span. Right, because one and two, y is two x or x two x, x two x, x two x. This is not x two x, so this is not in the span. So you will see if you draw, r two is here, s is here, which is only one two. There are so many outside here, and if you draw. If you draw one, two here, which is the vector, right? You know, if there is only one, then this is all the span. The span is just the line going through that vector. Any vector on the line is in the span. That's why there is a two four. There is a five ten. You can go negative one, negative two, negative two, negative four, negative three, negative six. They are all in the span. Two vectors in the span. A vector not in the span is anything here. Even anything here. All right. So that is not in the span. Okay. So I think. Yeah. 
Most of you get that, right? Right? Okay, now... Let's just try one question before we stop because I have to get ready for the meeting. Let's do okay. Okay, okay. Twenty. Number twenty. The given vector span R2. Determine whether the given vectors span R2. Tak ada off ya? Potong off. A 1, 0, 0, 0. B, 1, 1, 1, negative 1. So I give you 2 minutes to think. Before we go, the easiest way for me to check if you are still there is just like the video. Just like. Right? Like ke love ke. Jangan sad or marah sudah. Okay. So. You can see for part A, span, the answer is yes or no for part A. Okay. Span of, call it S, yeah? Or you can just write span of. One zero 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 is equal to linear combination of one zero plus zero zero C I in R or C one C two in R which is equal to C one zero, right? Ni dah tak ada kan? Ni zero zero. Oh, C one in R. And this is just the exercise. Right? This is not equal to R2. Okay? Don't leave your answer like this. Because this is not the answer. You want to determine whether it span R2. So, the vectors do not span R2. Okay? For part B, This is a little bit tricky because you want to write the span of 1, 1 and 1, negative 1 in terms of linear combination. But this one, how do you write? Yeah, you will write like this. C1 plus C2, C1 minus C2. How can you write this as X and Y?
So what you will do is to show that any x y in R two can be written as a linear combination of one one and one negative one, or the system is consistent. Okay. So you will write the other way around because this one is you can replace as x y, but how do you replace as x y? So show x y in R two is a linear combination of vectors in S. Okay, so x y is c one 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 plus c two one negative one. I'm looking if I have a similar example. A little on, but it's okay. So this one is quite easy because when you put one one, one negative one, and you put x y right. You want to find C1 and C2. Right? Now, now, the determinant is for A, coefficient matrix, the determinant of A is negative 2, which is not 0. So, there is a unique solution. Unique solution means C1, C2 exists. So, S span R2. So, the key is to show that any vectors in R2 is a linear combination of these two vectors. So, you will see if you have a square matrix, the determinant is not zero, meaning there is a unique solution, meaning C1, C2 exists. And since they exist, it's a linear combination, so it's span. Okay. Uh, we will continue on Thursday and then we'll do some more exercise. I will continue with more spanning set, but you can read through the rest of the session. Alright.